excited, proud, ready for the challenge. Yeah, ready. That's, that's the word I'd use. I'm Jamaican. I was born in Jamaica. Um, I, you know, I, I played cricket from uh, early teenage years. Um, came up through the ranks, um, played a few first class matches for Jamaica as well. Um, and I was introduced to coaching uh, by Geoffrey Dujon. Um, and it uh, wasn't something that uh, I, had a, I thought I had an affinity for. Um, but uh, with more opportunity, I, I, I enjoyed it more and more. Um, and then I've just come up through the ranks from uh, age group cricket, male and female, um, to where I am now. Well, firstly, you have to be knowledgeable of, you know, of, about the sport. Um, you know, in-depth knowledge, technically, tactically. Um, an ability to communicate um, with different players um, and, 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 and a, a willingness to be, be tolerant um, to an extent. Um, and then just being open-minded um, and a willingness to learn. I think uh, those four qualities, I think, uh, um, I'm sure you could name others, but those are the, more, the most four important ones to me. I mean, obviously, I had a good grounding in the game, um, so I had a knowledge of the game. Um, in terms of how I would interact, I was quite impulsive. So in terms of what I would have taken from that aspect to coaching, um, it's more of a, a willingness to work with players, less impulsive, um, a willingness to review things and, and, and be able to, to come back after reflecting. Um, so I've, I've developed um, in that area. I would say, well, this obviously would, would, be, at, would be number one. Um, having had the opportunity to, uh, to lead the team uh, 2020, 2010 on the 19 World Cup, um, it would be memorable. Um, working outside of my home country, Jamaica. So interestingly enough, um, returning to Dominica has fond memories for me. Um, my first involvement with first class cricket in the region was here. Um, having been appointed uh, first class coach in 2017. Um, so, I, you know, I really enjoy that opportunity. And then having the opportunity to coach my uh, homeland, Jamaica, in first class cricket. Um, and, and then in 2016, being a member of the uh, coaching staff when we won the World Cup um, in India. So, quite memorable indeed. I believe just looking around and everyone just being glued to the, the seats in that last over. I think we needed 18 runs and, and you know, everybody decided, listen, we're not going to leave our seats. Uh, when, that, when that last six looked like it was going to be heading out to the ground, I mean, everybody went out to the seats. So I think that was a memorable, most memorable moment. I think working in a different environment, obviously India, you know, the fans, the players, massive support and love for the game there. Um, you know, just experiencing the different grounds that we played. Um, and that's the culture, uh, the Indian culture, you know, that, that was really, really interesting for me. I uh, know, I, I believe when I was asked initially to, to um, perform in an, inter, in an um, interim role, uh, you know, I, was, I looked forward to that. And at that time, there was no thought really about um, applying for the role. Um, but having been there in an assistant coach role um, and had the opportunity to work with the players over a three month period, um, you know, it, it started to come home strongly to me around. Um, you know, me wanting to lead the side and working with the talented players that we have. Uh, so yes, it was uh, from then it really wanted to, to get stuck into it. <laughs> I would say my wife, uh, Shelley, uh, back home. She's been um, massive support for the last 18 years. So she was, she would definitely have been the first person. Uh, I was, I was very happy. Um, you know, she's, she's always said, um, I'll support you 100 percent. And she knows my passion. Um, for the game. She always says that she's a second wife, cricket being first. So. Uh, I think having been asked a um, relatively short um, period of time to, to do it, I thought at the time having clear and open conversations with each player and support staff uh, was really going to be very helpful uh, on those tours. Um, and and that, that ended up being very, ma um, very big. Uh, massive in terms of the, the rapport we were able to build. Um, whilst I would have had interaction with each player in different um, environments before, it would have been the first time I would have been leading them. Um, so that was, that was really significant. Uh, it made 
us coming together um, very seamless. Um, and I think uh, where we are now, uh, it's a continuation of those conversations and then continuing to, to build that rapport with the players. I'll be careful I don't tell too many tales out of school. Um, well, yes, uh, uh, so Ryan, Ryan Griffith has been fielding coach. I've worked with him previously as assistant coach. Um, um, you know, he's regarded by myself and the rest of the, the, the squad um, as a workhorse of the group. So he's very passionate about his fielding. Um, but he's very good with the arm and so on, very strong, and you know, works really hard during practice sessions. Someone you could always rely on. Uh, Kenny, I've, I've worked with in different capacities. Um, uh, he brings a wealth of experienced players, especially the bowlers, um, are quite keen to, to uh, pick his brain, um, bowling internationally. And uh, Stuart Williams is someone I would have worked as well with over the years. Um, sim similarly to, uh, to Kenny, that wealth of knowledge and, and so on. Um, always up for a laugh and a joke. Um, the, the spoons. <laughs> affectionately, affectionately known, uh, media officer, um, quite thorough, always up for a laugh, always has some uh, kind of um, information that nobody else seems to know. Um, uh, Asia, our trainer, um, has worked extensively in the female game um, and she's, she's transitioned into male um, cricket through CPL and is here with us, quite passionate about um, strength and conditioning. Um, Barrington, uh, or a physiotherapist, uh, he's from Jamaica, so I've had, I would have spent some time with him working with our first class franchise. Um, you know, very easy to talk to, um, you know, uh, has built rapport with the players quite quickly. Um, and Raul, um, I played a lot of cricket with Raul, he's a manager, um, we always taking a ribbing at each other, uh, but he's quite thorough, he's, he's, he's very well organized and he's pretty much the backbone of our operations at the moment. Um, I hope I'm not leaving anyone out. Um, I hope not. Uh, I think having identified where we are presently, um, you know, it's f working with the players to uh, gradually over time improve our standing uh, in the World Test Championship. Um, and in the next year to two years, uh, position ourselves if we could be in the top four to challenge for a spot. Um, uh, I also believe that in my current role, um, continuing, you know, that communication push that we want to have with our players, with the cricket opening up more global, um, a lot of the franchises are now popping up around the world. It's important that we have our best players available to us, but we also need to have those conversations where, you know, we can actually map out a year, two years, um, where there might be windows for the guys to play the franchise, but be available to us, but at the same time also have some downtime um, to have that work-life balance. So I think key to that is just me being the center of, of pushing that kind of environment and creating that openness where we can actually work things through as a, as a region. Uh, we do have a few uh, exciting players around. Obviously, uh, somebody like a Jaden Seals, once he's back to full uh, fitness, will definitely be someone. Um, you know, we have included two uh, young batters in our squad, Alec Atenez, who is from Dominica, uh, and Kurt McKenzie. Um, you know, so, so obviously, from a batting standpoint, those are two young players that you know we are we are keen to continue to invest in um, um, at the moment around the setup. Um, but the plan is really to continue to identify. Uh, we have a few players in our academy that um, emerging that we want to continue to invest in. Always bring it. So um, you know, we have good skill. Um, we have, you know, we have control over the attitude that we bring to, to every practice session, every game that we play. Um, bring the effort every time. Make sure it's a positive, can-do, solutions-oriented approach to everything that we do, um, and, and 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 work together as a team. I think those two ingredients, done consistently, um, could really um, help with results. You know, coming off of the back of Zimbabwe and South Africa, uh, we have continued uh, um, that rapport and they're always involved in our discussions around where we are at the moment, our plans and so on. They're integral to the planning along with the captain. Um, so yes, very, very important as a leadership group within the team. 
uh, you know, we go back um, years from academy days, HBC, which was based in Barbados, um, uh, to now be coach and, and captain. Uh, we continue to, 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 to gain a greater understanding of each other. Um, you know, he's a strong leader and I, I try to support him as best um, as I can. Um, and, and we have clear, open conversations. So it's, I've enjoyed the experience. Uh, it's been interesting working with three different captains. I think it's the first time in West Indies history that we have had three separate captains. So that process um, has been interesting. But I have enjoyed my time working with Craig, yes. Um, energy, um, a, a strong belief in self, uh, which we want to evidence on the field. Um, and, and that um, if we bring that consistent um, attitude to the game, that we will, we will identify um, and, and win the moments that are important, uh, put ourselves in a position to win more games.